Once Hollywood royalty walked her decks, but eight months ago, the luxury yacht Vita Mia sat in a South Shore slip, abandoned and sinking. KIDP 4's Pamela Young has an update on the fate of this fabled boat. All new tonight at 6. Oh, it's so sad. I can't believe, I just, I can't believe that someone's let her get to this stage. For nearly 85 years, the Vita Mia entertained rock stars and royalty. But here, only pumps keep her afloat, her brass dulled by sea spray, her gleaming wooden decks blanched by sun. Sure, do hope somebody will come forward and say, I, I want this boat. I want to be the angel that will save this boat and return it to the glory that it, it used to have. It would have to be an angel with deep pockets. The boat was owned by Can Do Enterprises, which couldn't deliver on a business plan, so the lady was dumped at Kewalos. The harbor was willing to part with the vessel for a dollar if a new owner could commit to repairs, eventually totaling more than a quarter million dollars. Fortunately, there is someone with that kind of money. We can't tell you who rescued the Vita Mia, but we can tell you he's got an appreciation for naval history and a deep love for craftsmanship. The Vita Mia returns to the water next week, but it will be up to nine months before she's seaworthy. The hull pukas are repaired, the interior gutted to make room for cabins, the woodwork lovingly sanded, stained, and varnished. There was actually a wall that divided it with a sliding door. And I had two great big dressers here and two bunks. The bathroom, or the head as we call it, has a tub in it, as well as a shower. For Katie Merrill, who was first mate for more than 20 years, it is a rebirth of elegance rarely seen these days on the high seas. There's so many people, they stop by on a, you know, a weekly basis just to check up on how's the Vita Mia, and everybody has their own stories about her. And I remember, you know, the Vita Mia when, I've heard so many stories. The boat's new life will be in the luxury charter cruise business. The owner intends to honor the Vita Mia's rich past by retaining her name and keeping her in Hawaiian waters. At Ka'ehi Marine Center, Pamela Young, KITV4 News.